Hey everybody, today at UPR Products, we're gonna be installing our really popular kit. This is for 15 to 20 F-150 EcoBoost trucks. It'll work for 2.7, 3.5, 3.5 Raptor, Ex Expedition, um, really simple kit. And to get started, we kind of took everything out of the box just to make sure we have everything. And we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and scan the QR code for the instructions. So now you have your instructions right on your phone. You can expand them, do whatever you need to do. You don't have to worry about them getting wet or getting lost. The instructions are right there from our website on your phone. Let's get into the installation. So the first thing is take everything out, make sure you have everything, you have your catch can. This one here is an optional mega can, so it's our larger catch can option that's in the drop down menu. We have our three way fitting, we have our clean side separator, we have one, two, three hoses. So that's everything that you need to install this in the kit. You'll need a 17 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, an eight millimeter socket, and a panel popper tool or a knife or a screwdriver to pop these little plastic rib nuts up. We'll grab that later. Just pop those little rivets out. I'm gonna use the eight millimeter socket to remove the intake scoop. You can also use a ratcheting uh, box end wrench if you have it. Go ahead and pop the scoop off, set that aside. We're gonna mount the catch can on a frame rail. Now on your frame rail, depending on the year of the truck, you're gonna have an oval two hole or a round hole here. And you're gonna use the, the round hole to go ahead and pop that catch can bracket onto. All right, so one quick little tip is when you're putting the bracket on a frame rail, it's a lot easier just to remove the bracket from the catch can. It's a six millimeter Allen, just go ahead and take that off set the catch can aside so you're not trying to support that catch can while you're putting the bolt in. Uh, the bolt's going to go from the frame rail from the outside in. So to do so, I'm going to put that in there just like that and you're going to screw the 10 millimeter 90 onto it. And once you have it in position, go ahead and tighten up with the ratchet wrench. All right, so once you have the frame bracket mounted and uh, tightened up, you're gonna go ahead and install the catch can onto it. And again, it's a six millimeter Allen. Once we have the catch can installed, we're gonna go ahead and start routing hoses. And depending on what year truck you have, you're gonna need to remove the engine cover on this particular model year this is a 17 this has an engine cover that's held down with two 10 millimeter nuts um, some other engine covers just pop up and pull off 
So this one, you're gonna go ahead and take the 10 millimeter nuts off of there. One here and one on the other side. These are nylock nuts, they're just 10 millimeter nuts, so if you happen to drop one or lose one, which I'm really good at doing, you can get them at the hardware store pretty easily. To remove the cover, you're just gonna pick it up and pull it forward. Go ahead and put that aside. Now on the EcoBoost engines, whether it's a 2.7 or 3.5, you have your dirty side, and your clean side. So your dirty side is your PCV side. So you can have your PCV valve on your valve cover, vacuum fitting at the intake manifold. To release it, there's a little flip tab on your fitting. You're gonna flip that tab forward and kind of wiggle and pull it up. Same thing on the intake manifold. Pull that tab forward, kind of give it a wiggle and pull that off. On your clean side, same thing. Pull that off there. Give that a wiggle and pull it up. So our clean side separator is gonna go here. And to do so, we're gonna just pop that on. And we're gonna twist this fitting to make it work. When this clean side separator goes on, once it engages into the fitting, it's going to click to lock. So pull that collar up. Push it down onto the fitting. Until it clocks. Twist your fitting in your factory hose. And just slide that on. That's it. In your catch can kit, you have two long hoses. You'll have a clean side hose, which is going to have a check valve in it. Check valves have an arrow on them. The arrow always faces away from the catch can towards the intake manifold. Your PCV hose is gonna be a long hose in the kit with no check valve in it, solid hose. We're gonna route those hoses around to the fittings. PCV side. Just kind of route your hoses so that they're not going to interfere with any belts, fans, or any kind of exhaust components. On the catch can side, you have three fittings. On the mega can, they all face up. On the standard catch can, your top fitting is your PCV, your side fittings are gonna be your vacuum. So you're gonna have your main vacuum and your auxiliary vacuum from your wide open throttle hose. So PCV hose always goes to the center top fitting. And with this one here, we're gonna go ahead and make the vacuum hose Go to the fitting closest to the front of the truck. The check valve facing away from the catch can. And next we're gonna work on the wide open throttle hose and I'll show you how to do that. Just gonna reposition. 
All right, so the final connection is gonna be your wide open throttle hose. And what we do is we have a three-way fitting. So it eliminates the need to drill into your intake tubes as we had in previous kits. You're gonna follow your clean side or your, your crankcase vent hose and it's gonna terminate down here at the turbo inlet tube and with another quick connect fitting. Flip that fitting, give this a wiggle, pop that up. You're just gonna move this to the side like that. You're gonna put your three-way fitting on and connect that back on to that fitting. Face that open fitting forward. The last hose is your wide open throttle hose. It's the shortest hose in the kit. Again, the check valve faces away from the catch can. The male fitting is gonna go into the female side, remaining on that three-way fitting. You can kind of just reposition and twist the hoses to make everything happy and fit properly. To reassemble, we're gonna put the air scoop back on. But as you can see with the pictures here in the video, it's a pretty easy install, no drilling. This is for 15 to 2020 EcoBoost F-150 trucks. So the UPR kit, when you're all done with your install, before you put everything back together and put your air scoop and your cover back on, just verify that your check valves, the arrows are facing away from the catch can towards the engine. And uh, cause if these are backwards, that can cause a check engine light. You wanna make sure your hoses with the check valves are on the opposite end of the catch can. Your PCB hose is connected to your catch can. To remove these hoses or service the catch can, one thing you want to do is you do not want to uh, use a pair of screwdrivers or anything to, to pry these buttons out. They're buttons, they are not uh, clips. So to release the fittings, you press the buttons to open them up and that's how you release them. You never pry this out because they're designed to not come out. They will break if you pry them. So these just kind of pop on and click on so you know that they're on there. So again, PCV, vacuum, auxiliary vacuum or wide open throttle hose, check valves facing away from the engine. When you have the hoses routed as we have them here, they will absolutely fit under the stock engine cover without having to cut anything. Um, really, really easy to install. Again, no drilling. So you can get your F-150 back on the road in no time. That's your UPR Products F-150 2015 to 2020 EcoBoost dual valve catch can kit. This one with the mega option. Get yours at uprproducts.com or at any UPR Products dealer.